okay hello traders this is the wolf with another tutorial video in our market pressure series and in this video we're going to look more at market pressure and where to get uh, good trigger points and uh, how to follow the trend in certain scenarios to take a look at pressure better so before that let me do the risk warning your invested capital at risk do not trade with money you cannot afford to lose and this video is not an investment advice and currently we're looking at the sunday otc market currently market is on a very downtrend okay i'm using the emas and bb lines in this tutorial video okay we see a good opportunity to call after this long downtrend okay we're having support uh, resistance at the bb1 so looking at this downtrend so we're going to look a bit more of how to spot uh, pressure so let's plot our key levels first so we have a key level here okay this candle breaking through so you can see that the buyers are finally coming in after this long downtrend and you can see we have a good support here let's put the round level here okay so it's a call trade a sure shot we don't need any confirmation but we just have to be careful of this area here but currently you must understand market is on a strong down wave and then it hits this support level here and then you can see market starts to consolidate can't bring sellers can't bring price lower and the market is moving away from the bb2 line triggered bias here and then this candle looked like a red candle supposed to come down from this bb1 support which uh, resistance which will actually try to bring back down and continue the downtrend which failed we show us that the buying pressure is strong so this candle is a sure shot call based on this candle live uh, price action of where this candle formed so you can see that was an easy ITM. So we got another key level here from the body reversal. We're not sure how to plot your key levels. Please look back at the SNR series. So we got a good round number here. We have a rejection showing us that the, the, this should be a retrace and then the next candle should go up. We have started the uptrend. So based on this, this candle, this candle is actually uh, Maribuzu trade setup from the 20 EMA and you can see the downtrend is being triggered again so based on how this candle forms you can actually see if uh, the downtrend will continue or not based on live candle analysis so we can actually do a put trade we just need a good entry point and rejection but remember the market direction is currently up so we got a good entry point from here which I'm pretty much sure that this engulfing the buyers will not be able to cross this level on this attempt but let's see the buying pressure is strong but this candle shows that these buyers will not be able to break this level on this attempt and the rejection will come so let's see what happens and you can see this is a major key level and you see the rejection is coming so if you understand what's happening in the market you don't need to wait for rejection to do your trade and you can see currently the major trend is still down this is another easy trade but this candle is an inverted um, inverted hammer so you have to be careful the buyers might try again so you need to see this candle here might continue might reject so you saw the rejection there 
So I'm sure that the buyers will try again to bring the price higher. So let's see what happens. So we have a body reversal here. But currently the direction is down. So this may not be a good trade. And you have a round level below here. So it's okay. So you see the currently the price is down. So you shouldn't go against the price direction of the market. So no problem. You really know the current direction of the market is down. Uh, late entry. We have a strong strong support here which will be tested again and this time I'm sure that it should break but we saw a rejection here it shows that this level is still being respected but the selling pressure should be able to bring the price down and the major downtrend should continue after this double top so let's see what happens still have 20 seconds so I just wanted to show you some uh, trades based on pressure. So it doesn't mean that if you lose a trade, you panic. It's more important that you face the right direction of the market and where the trend is heading towards. So you can see the trend is down. And you can see it goes below the price. So this is the area where you have to be careful where this strong support is diverging with the BB one and this is a pressure trade and the bias will be triggered from here and you can see the moment this candle forms if you don't see any rejection or very weak rejection that means the bias will bring the price up and you can see this is actually a trigger point to trigger the bias and this is what i want to explain to you in this tutorial video so let's zoom in and you can see why because of this price action here on the left and this is the round level and we have the BB1 diverging over here which triggers the bias back into the market and you can see it's another ITM so we are back on the uptrend but you have to watch this candle we just need a something like a consolidation you can see a double tweezers bottom here but the sellers will try to break this level now so let's wait let's plot this body reversal here you can see the moment it rejected the price immediately pushed back down so you have to be careful of this candle as this candle is a seller's candle you can see the pressure is strong and we finally having a breakout but remember this level until this level it is still a possibility for the buyers to enter but the bodies are closing above here so we should be able to do an easy put trade as soon as the scandal closes okay we get a better entry point okay so this candle will go lower after this breakout candle of this price level. And this support, which is confirmed by the body reversals, which shows that this level is strong. And the moment that this candle breaks this level, this is an easy pressure trade after this breakout of this candle. So it's an easy put trade in the downward direction so this is exactly what i want to share with you in this video is how to do pressure trades using uh, price action and uh, major key levels and how do you actually approach the breakout so you need current price action respect to show you those key levels and i decided to do it today with uh, bb lines and emas so that you can see the picture better so we have a Key level here, round level here. So let's plot this level. So there could um, BB line is starting to become 
a bit flat, you have a long wick here, so there's a possibility of a retrace from the buyers. So we have to watch this live candle to see we have a double wick here. So we have to see if the buyers are going to try to reverse the market or not. So you can see currently market is in downtrend with a few minor uptrends and the EMAs are in parallel apart from each other. Okay, just lost a bit of connection. So um, I want you to understand how to use pressure uh, in the right way in accordance with, um, okay, this level pullback. But you can see the BB is now flat on the lower, lower line is flat. So you have to be careful on trading if you're going to trade a continuation or breakout. You have to be careful about this area here as this area here currently is not showing you uh, any continuation from the downtrend. And you can see buyers already trying once, managed to bring the price to the 20 EMA. So we have to watch this candle if the downtrend would continue. So we have a break of this round level. We have a weak level here. So let me just plot this weak level here. Okay. So uh, basically this is what I want you to understand. How to use pressure trades in uh, coordinates with the current downtrend or the major trend. How do you follow the trend? So even though this is a market pressure series, but uh, we haven't gone into trend yet. But I would like to show you um, how I normally use uh, trend to further analyze and give me a better trading setup. So you can see, I told you this area is a danger area. So just because this candle broke this round level, you cannot blindly do a put on this candle because there is strong bias inside this range because of this long week over here so you just gotta wait to see what happens currently this trend behavior you can see there's retrace so we have an inverted hammer inverted hammer this cannot be traded blindly as a put you got to see the price. Okay. And the rejection comes, which shows that they get a low entry point. The entry point wasn't good earlier because of that uh, rejection that came too quick. But I'm pretty sure that this candle will actually, this is actually, this candle is actually kind of like a fake breakout. And this candle will retrace back up but you have a level that is acting as a, as a resistance now and you can see what's happening right now and you have a, another ITM so possibility of a morning star forming here this was a fake breakout so but the buyers had no strength so we got to see so we got this new key level here. So we got to see if buyers are strong in this live candle analysis to be able to clear this price. And you can see the sellers are slowing down. So we will not take this trade till we have some confirmation. So um, this is what I want you to understand and uh, this is what I'm trying to explain to you that you cannot just trade blindly the breakout based on pressure. You need to see the pressure and you got to understand the key levels, how the candle and the market behaves around the levels. Another weak level here. We have a round number here. So let me plot this round number. Okay. So So now we have a good 
downtrend which this level we have a trigger of price here which we are approaching the major round number here which is the 8000 so let's plot the 8000 sellers should be able to push price back towards this level okay you have a bias trigger here so you can see there was a sign here of bias entry failed here so this was actually a fake breakout so it doesn't matter if you lose some trade but you got to use it to understand the market direction so we get a rejection we can easily do a call trade here and the buyers are able to engulf okay so let's see what happens we need a good rejection yes it came this candle is a definite ITM because of the way this candle rejected above which confirms the upward direction of the market so this is how you actually catch the pressure so for example it goes down and then you have that rejection up and a strong one okay this candle is a very good example of a bias triggered uh, trade and uh, for example okay like for example you expect the downtrend to continue here but resulted in a green or bullish engulfing candle so failure shows you direction so this failure shows you that the market is now going up so this is what i want you to understand and for those who uh, keep asking me whether do you lose any trades yes i do and you can see in this video there was a loss on this candle but the loss should not make you get emotional it should actually point the direction for you to understand but you cannot trade it blindly you need the confirmation you need to follow the market so with this i like to end this video i hope you guys learn a bit more about market pressure and how i use it and how you can also use it um, in respect with current price action and with implications and uh, additions of uh, trend and bb lines and emas so this is the wolf signing out stay safe take care and bye bye